Hello, hi there, I'm Teddy and first my apologies, my voice is going to sound a bit weird because I'm getting over a cold and I lost my voice like two weeks ago and it's barely coming back to me or more like creeping back to me and unfortunately I have no nieces at hand to help me record this. So this is an intro video for one of my Sims 3 worlds up for download and this time it's Sims State University. The town is inspired by the neighborhood of the same name from The Sims 2 and is a main world that I play like a university town but in The Sims 3. The world it file itself is empty. There are no buildings but a few decorative items that you can find in a package enclosed with the world folder. I haven't included any of the mods I'm using to play this as a university town but I have listed the main ones in the description box down below and in a readme file. I also cover them in this video. There is also a save file available with no inhabitants but very basic and mostly empty buildings. Uh, I stripped my buildings of furniture and textures that weren't from the game so they should be CC free but not much more than just shells of the buildings I made for my game. In The Sims 2, Simstead University is one of three universities you can send your Sims to to further their studies. And uh, of the three, I think it's the one that looks the most American, typically American. The campus has some special characteristics uh, that make it very recognizable, like the two towers on either side of the student union, main square, central squad, and community lots linked by red cobblestone pathways. Nearby you have main street with a stores area, a park and its pond, and of course, the almost mandatory fraternity and sorority houses. There is a bunch of house types of housing, like low rent houses for the students, dormitories, and some more expensive dwellings. So I started with that map in mind and in my Sim 3 version of Simstead University I've tried to recreate that basic layout and the main characteristics of the neighborhood. The town itself is quite small with about 40 lots but it's actually uh, more than enough for just you know a campus town uh, like Simstead University. So there are different ways to play a university town as a main world in The Sim 3, but to my knowledge they all involve mods. So far I've made two university towns for my game, and the first one is this one called Weekend Les Flo. It is a French town where I have my boarding schools and also my uh, French university. I played with a uh, Rachel's Majors and uh, Zebu's Ultimate Career mode. But that's not the gameplay we are going to talk about uh, today. So, of course, my second university town is uh, Sim State University. So I play differently than Cool Weekend, in part because it's supposed to be an American university and they're very different than the French ones. So first, the town is mostly one big campus. And the different houses are for students, the professors and their families. And uh, the different community lots are either 
faculty buildings or you know stores and hangout places um, for the students. So to play this word as a university town, I'm using quite a few mods and custom content items. Here are the main ones. So rabbit hole rugs. They are here to replace the buildings, so either you can use the university buildings from the game, which are a bit bulky and not easy to place, or you can use replacement rugs. These are Misty University Life rabbit hole rugs, uh, which in my game I placed in the different buildings I built uh, to house them. To attend the lesson, the students are going to disappear into the rugs, but after class, they often hang out in the building and they use the objects displayed there. So if you decorate the buildings according to what is being studied there, your students are going to improve their skills on their own, which is pretty cool. Next you have uh, the student union. So it might be the most important building in that way of playing. The one you get with the save file uh, is ready to be used as I already placed the special marker there. So you can make uh, that marker visible if you type uh, first uh, testing cheats in a bold true. And then uh, by debug on. So that marker allows for different layouts for the, the same place um, depending on the event uh, held there. So you can decorate and add, remove or remove things as you wish, uh, but uh, uh, you have to be careful with that marker as it works uh, just like the one for seasonal lots. So if you're not careful, you could end up with pieces of furniture overlapping and uh, depending on the uh, layouts and um, it can be, you know, you can block access to something uh, without meaning to. So uh, as it's already placed in the set file, you just need to add the administration center rabbit hole rug and place it somewhere accessible uh, to have the, the building fully functional. Then you can enroll your sims at university. Beforehand, you might want to have them take the test, see if they can get a scholarship. Then to enroll them, don't use the phone, but have them register directly into the rabbit hole. You can enroll the whole household uh, if you want to and in different courses. The student union houses different events. Uh, the first one is the meet and greet on the first day of school and this is where when the different students meet and get to know each other for the first time. Oh. Then you have the lectures. And, well, there are lots of fun. So each um, course has one lecture per week and they are taking place at the student union. So in the save file, um, the student union has a classroom 
especially for uh, the um, lectures, the students are going to be called over um, on uh, the day where they have uh, that class and uh, they are going to attend, uh, sometimes participate and sometimes they <laughs> go uh, to sleep just as uh, as soon as they enter. Um, the only issue is that the game doesn't spawn a lecturer. So if you want a professor to be present during those lectures, uh, what I do is I, uh, I assign one using uh, the custom role desks by ASIL. So um, the, with the work hours, is going to be present during uh, the different lectures. And then if uh, he, either the, the professor is going to use one of the uh, items there, or uh, I can uh, make him um, playable at that time and uh, have him, uh, for instance, use the podium so that we can pretend he's uh, teaching. <laughs> You can also use our sales desks um, in other buildings around the campus so that you have, you know, always a professor on site. Like you can um, give them work hours, days off, and of course, you can also choose their um, job title like science teacher or librarian. Next mode is a very important one. It's master controller. Actually, most of Twilight's modes, like register, for instance, are super very useful when you're playing that game. Uh, here, master controller is essential if you want to be able to switch households without resetting the whole year and the majors you have played so far. Selector is a pretty good tool too. With just one click, you can switch to another household with a, without losing any of the progress made. So, of course, there are other modes and pieces of custom content which help a lot in playing the game, but uh, these are, in my opinion, the ones you can't play without. Ah. That's it for this introductory video of Sims State University for the Sims 3. If you download the town, don't forget to read the readme files. There are two of them. There is one with the world file and a different one with the save file. If you don't want any custom content, uh, you just need to not install uh, the CC package and closed with the download. That shouldn't have any impact on the gameplay but it might make the town look a tad empty. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.